broken kind of lines in here just for now some of this profile and do the opposite thing here And I also want to break it up, you know, break up the sides so that more and more, the more I work anyway, I want to try to get rid of that symmetry look. You know, it's good to start as a shortcut, but um, eventually you're going to want to, you really don't want to stick with that. <coughs> okay, let's come back here, fix this up a little bit more. Darken this in. Um, I'm using a Wacom Cintiq. I don't know if I mentioned that at all. I got the 12 inch version, the 12 UX or WX or VX or whatever model number it is. Um, sounds like I'm being invaded again. I'm not stopping the video. I hope it's not important and they don't need to speak to me right now because I'm really into this and making my video. However, if they need to come down here and get my attention, which I guess they don't because they left. Cool. That uh, was my wife. I hope she's not upset. She understands. I got a good wife. I'm fortunate enough that I actually ended up marrying a good woman, even though she was just a young girl at the time. Okay, now we come back to the lips. Um, I'm going to switch to white. I'm going to get rid of this line here. Because I want to keep the original line of the lip that I had going. Uh, to continue this way, like this. Okay, now we're going to come here. Uh, come this here. Slip line a little bit. Back to the white. I'm being lazy with my other hand. I'm not using my keyboard shortcuts to swap. Uh, just because I'm being lazy. Whistling again. Sorry. I know whistling can drive some people crazy. Would have wanted to turn you off from watching these just because I'm a freaking whistler. Alright, now I do want to make my brush a little bit bigger. Come in here. I'm going to flow down now just because I'm in here. I do want to make this black. Okay, let's see. 
anything that stands out. No. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. This is kind of um washing it out a little bit. I might drop the opacity a little bit more. Yeah. Let's save it. Now let's see what I want to do. Um hmm. You know what I want to do? I'm gonna make a group here. Move the tablet out of the way for a minute. We're going to call this base. And we're going to take everybody from the base, except for the white. No, we'll even take that. Why do we need that? We'll take this, we'll put it all here, go like this. Now we're going to make a copy of our base. I'm going to mess it up, ain't I? I go um, merge group. No. It retained a lot of the detail. I actually like what the merge did. It kind of darkened some areas a little bit, brought some of them, some of that crack pattern out in here a little bit. Let me zoom in and show you what that did, visually speaking. And, um,. very subtle shift. It does add a little bit more detail than what was there before. Even shifts down a little bit, huh? Okay. We will leave it for now. Um, hmm. Now, now that we're here, think should I get to work on the eyes maybe that's what I'll do next I'll get to work on the eyes I've never done these kind of eyes before so we're gonna be going on a new trip here so I want to do just totally black beady big ass black beady eyes um, see how that looks. I had two ideas. I was thinking big black, just black filled, shiny, beady eyes, or um, kind of like black eyes with almost a tiger slit, like the way cat's eyes are slit, but instead of slit up, up and down, slit left to right. Those are some ideas I had. Not really sure what I'm going to go with. Let's try just blackening it out for now. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come in nice and close. I'm going to grab a new layer. And I'm going to try just using the selection tool. Oh. I forgot to change the mode so it's additive selection. So even if I let go, I don't lose what I had. There we go. There we go. Now this is the area I right, turn my tablet. That was my keyboard slamming. Turn my tablet because.